Hello, I'm Gus Downing, publisher and editor of the D&D Daily, and this is the LP News Network. We're here today with Tim Barkowiak, LPC and Vice President Sales and Marketing for, marketing for Rokitech. Rokitech is the only cart containment push-out protection system that works to the expectations of their customers. Adequately and well-functioning shopping carts is a big part of the customer experience, and nothing's more annoying for the customer than there being no shopping carts available. Abandoned carts are considerable costs and only add to the problem of not enough carts for your valued customers. Retrieving shopping carts is a time-consuming and costly and they're often dirty and damaged when retrieved, resulting in repair and cleaning costs. And more and more local governments are enforcing the rules on abandoned shopping carts, with shop owners receiving fines for abandoned shopping carts, and these fines will quickly escalate. In addition to this, it's often requested that the cart be collected immediately by the retailer, directly, or they'll be destroyed at the retailer's expense. With the Rokotech cart containment system, these unpleasant situations with customers will be prevented. The majority of the losses from the abandoned carts and local government fines won't be incurred. I mean, there's a number of reasons to choose Rokotype, as they're always able to offer their customers an appropriate solution in every situation because of the variations of the Rokotech cart containment system. With that, we'd like to thank Tim for being here today. Thanks, Tim. Hey, thank you, Gus. We appreciate being here. You know, you've had a quite a career within the loss prevention industry, holding leadership positions with Spartan Nash, Dollar General, yeah. before joining Rokitech. I mean, why Rokitech? Well, quite honestly, before I get into answering your question, I just want to say thank you for allowing us to be here today, help sponsor this wonderful event, and what a great job you guys do with it for the thank industry. You. Thank you. We appreciate it. So, what brought me to Rokitech? First off, I was an early adopter of the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, back in my past role, did some research, realized that based on some quality product that Rogatech had to offer, the innovation of the product, as well as the ROI that they presented, brought me to be an early adopter of that technology. I realized those quick and easy wins, the ROI proved itself, and I became a very firm believer in the technology and what that has to offer, not only the LP business unit, but other business units within a company. So with that, uh, the challenges, that we see from an LP perspective and the executives and the professionals face, Rogatech has a very unique solution that can help them satisfy and get some quick and easy wins. You know, as the Vice President of Sales for Rogatech, I mean, how has your high level of LP experience helped you and your company? Quite honestly, based on the 18 plus years of experience in the LP industry, I've been able to work now with folks because I can talk the LP talk. I've walked it, lived, breathed the challenges day in, day out that the LP professionals experience. And through that experience, I'm able to quickly think with them mm -hmm. as to how we can take our solutions and offer them quick and easy wins within their company for that. And at the end of the day, I know they appreciate that understanding that I have that past experience and know the challenges that they go through on a weekly basis. You know, one of the most common challenges retailers who use car containment or push out protection systems face is customer complaints and sometimes customer injuries mm -hmm. caused by the shopping carts coming to an abrupt stop uh, when they cross a trigger point. I mean, how has Rokitech addressed that obstacle? It's very interesting how, how they've addressed that from the aspect of using their R&D pipeline and they have a great partnership with a institute called the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany. That institute is very similar to the MIT Institute here in the U.S. But they worked with them and developed a true braking system for our caster. So that true braking system acts very similar to the ABS on your car with a pulsating action. Thus, it doesn't create a flat spot on the wheel, as mm. some do. With that innovation, with that partnership, we were able to patent that technology, so we hold the patent on that system, along with some of the other systems that we've developed with them, such as our one cable system, which allows the retailer some significant savings, as well as the customer has the ability that if the cart locks up when they approach that line, all they have to do is pull it back and it automatically unlocks. Mm -hmm. So there's some customer service 
aspects to it, as well as some cost savings as well for the store with it. You know, recently a white paper was published by the Calibration Group mm -hmm. that suggested many LP executives are unaware of the losses they incur from shopping cart thefts, as well as the theft of merchandise from pushouts. Uh, why do you think the awareness is lacking? Quite honestly, when we look at shopping carts and where that falls within a traditional grocer, let's say, or other retail, typically that's procurement or a fixture department. Mm -hmm. Those folks have a established budget year after year, mm -hmm. so they just get into the habit of spending $90,000, $150,000 every year for shopping carts. Mm -hmm. They never truly alert or talk to the LP folks mm -hmm. about the expenses that they're going through. And so it's the left hand talking to the right hand, mm -hmm. it's business units, and I would encourage the LP professional to go out and seek your fixture, your procurement folks, your store operations, and inquire as to how much they're spending on shopping yeah, carts. Yeah, and look at the loss. And look at the loss. Yeah. Find out what's going on. Do we have segments, districts, specific stores that are having problems that we can help create a solution, have some wins, reduce the budget? Mm -hmm. Again, everybody wins. With that, we're also developing some new technology within Rogatech. We just released our beta test caster. Uh, we call it CTS, or Cart Tracking System. Mm -hmm. It helps the retailer optimize their shopping cart fleet. And with that, there's a host of various reports that the retailer has visibility to that can include the average use of a cart, whether the cart is inside the store, outside the store, average battery life, that is on that caster. An intelligent system. It's intelligent. It gives them an ability now to say, if I'm spending X amount on a shopping cart in my store, how can I maximize that across my chain? Mm -hmm. And we can then slice and dice those reports on a lot of different factors. You know, Tim, you, being in the industry as long as you have, you understand that LP professionals need to become more proactive in their organizations and look beyond preventing losses through just theft prevention. How does Rokatech help them achieve this objective? Well, first, when you look at pushing out profits and the white paper that uh, we sponsored mm -hmm. here recently, it takes approximately $6,000 in sales to replace the cost of one shopping cart. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That's a lot of sales. Mm -hmm. And everybody's always concerned about increasing sales. So LP professionals, by thinking differently, now are able to add value to the LP organization and their company in a host of different ways. That's not to mention even just the prevention of push-outs, which today average almost $500 per incident. Mm -hmm. And that's tough because LP doesn't always learn of those push-outs unless there's a store detective, store employee that alerts LP. And the that, last thing they're thinking of is the cart. And the last thing they're thinking of right. is the cart. Right. But if we can prevent those push-outs, now merchandise is back on the shelf, mm -hmm. available for sale, mm -hmm. customers happy because carts are in the store, mm -hmm. and as we all know, we, all, we want to increase basket size, so we want to have those carts available for our customers. And you may have also apprehended the shoplifters. And we may have also apprehended yeah. the Or the ORC folks. Could, that is correct. Sure. And that product then stays on the shelf, so we have a potential for reducing out of stocks. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of soft benefits sure. that trail that. So your job is to communicate that throughout the industry and, and explain to them the value of their getting involved. Yes, yeah. and there's v more value than just what they think about with, oh, a shopping cart being sure. on the street or being used elsewhere in the community. You know, it's my understanding that Rogatech only uses their own employees to service and install the systems. You know, tell me about Rokotech's thought process on not using subcontractors like other cart containment companies do. That's very true. All of our employees are in-house from the manufacturing process to the install. And that is, for the simple philosophy, is we want to be able to control the technicians, the engineers. Mm -hmm. When you subcontract, there's the ability where you lose some of that control for quality of installations, knowledge, and quite frankly sometimes maybe not the customer service levels that a company is expecting mm -hmm. to deliver. So by having that in-house, 
we can control the knowledge base, we can continually train, educate our technicians, our engineers on our latest technology, unique install situations, so it can shorten that install period of time. And then at the end of the day, the most important is customer service. We want to exceed our customer service expectations to our customer, and by doing that in-house, we can train them on customer service techniques, uh, have that ability to ensure that the customer is satisfied at the end of the install. I increase quality. Increase quality control. As Ford used to say, quality is job one. Yeah. What about availability and, and response time? I mean, if you've got your, your own teams, I mean, do you have, you know, has there been an issue for you from a standpoint of, you know, getting the techs out there to service the, the products and such or the containment systems? Yes. We have strategically placed our technicians and engineers throughout mm -hmm. the United States to be able to respond in an appropriate time depending mm -hmm. on the level of the emergency that that customer or retailer is having. So by strategically placing our teams, we're able to respond in quick fashion to satisfy those customer needs. Excellent. Well, thanks for being here today, Tim. Gus, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Well, that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to thank you for watching, and until next time, let's keep them all safe out there.